Brighton nil, Manchester United nil. Manchester United win it on penalties, 7-6. Victor Lindelof, that man right there, scoring the winner. I'm joined by Andy Tate. Oh, and relax. How do you feel after that? Drained. Yeah. Physically drained. This, that was like reminiscent of England mm. in, against Colombia, 2018. You'd, you'd, like, even England, Italy's it, absolute drain. United, just, it, they'll take you to the edge of the cliff and drag mm. you back. It's, a, it's it's like riding a Pepsi Max at Blackpool. You can never fucking get off once you get that taste of it, taste for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just bad. I had it all. I mean, oh, I'm so emotional. I've just messaged my brother. I've messaged, got to see my dad on the way home as well. 83. Mum, my mum, my dad. Like, oh, I'm getting so many vibes, but it's like Jesus. <laughs> I, I'm so I'm happy. I'm relieved. Yeah. But man, we got Scott Snell. Yeah. How'd you kill a great white shark? What, are you looking forward to sitting in the final already? Oh, yeah. yeah. How do you, you kill it? Because they're the shark who wants to terrorise everybody. Yeah. There's, only three, there's only three teams that can stop him, and we're one of them. The other two being Arsenal and Real Madrid? Yeah, yeah. Because history cannot be repeated for yeah. the other side of Manchester. No way. So, just before... Well, I do want to talk about the final, actually, but before we, we, we get to that, a bit on the game today, I mean... I, I don't even want to talk about the, the, the sort of the 90 minutes and the 120 minutes because it was so dull, but it, we need to talk about it a little bit. Yeah. D was it a disappointing performance? Was it one where you felt the United lacked a lot or was it one where you thought, you know, considering the circumstances, we've got a lot of players on the pitch who are half injured. We've played 16 games more than Brighton. It's obviously a very tired a sort of team that's kind of breaking down a little bit. Do you almost look at that and think, we did what we needed to do to get to the penalty shootout. We did what we needed to. Or do you, or do you look at that and go, really, Brighton were the better team and we need to get better? Uh, we, we, I see it. Brighton were the better team. Yeah. That bad, definitely. They had more of the possession. They had the, more, they had the better chances. Uh, and we couldn't conjure anything in the second half. Even the first half, we had about a 10-minute spell. But the second half, we were absolutely lacklustre. Uh, yeah. And there was, there was a chance there with about 10 minutes to go. Anthony racing through. You've got Bruno on the right of him. Play mm. him in. And he don't. And it's like, it's, it's, it's about split second. A touch of class unlocks a semi final. Yeah. Look at Martin, Martinez on there. Like somebody who runs the show. Yeah. Martinez. Mares. Mares for City. Yeah. He, he runs the show. A, 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 a player who can, who can, who can uh, change a game. Mm. And we've got them players today, but he was. They, it stunk the place out, but it's done. We're there, but it, we have to be better. Yeah. And now we can concentrate on sealing a top four berth. We've got something uh, uh, t to be t to aim for. Mm. It's nice that, isn't it? The season has got an aim now. The season, there's an end goal to this season. Obviously, top four cementing that. Playing Tottenham on on Thursday. If we win that, we'll be nine points clearer then with two games in hand. I think it's Brighton actually that we need to be looking over our shoulders at rather than Tottenham now. Um, Obviously, we've still got to fight for top four, but having that FA Cup final in the distance, when everything else is done, when City have probably won the league, when United have hopefully got top four, having one last game will be, I think, a big motivator for this United team. Do you think it will? Uh, yeah, it'll be a big day for the whole of Manchester. Yeah. Never, I mean, never, never have Man never United played Man City happened. in a final never. ever. Uh, you've seen Merseyside finals, you've yeah. seen Real Madrid, Barcelona semi-finals, that Maybe a final, I don't know. I think they played it in the Copa del Rey a few times. You, yeah, you've seen Celtic and Rangers finals, but you've never seen a Manchester final. We, we've seen, we, like I say, we've got scores to settle. Mm. And I'm sure they'll have a score to settle as well with what happened at Old Trafford. Yeah. And uh, 2010, but like you say, that, that, started there, that started there. Didn't it stay off, didn't it? Yeah. Beat you know, yeah, yeah, sorry, but this could be the one that starts our season. Do you, our th do you think the fact that, obviously, I think if these two teams played next week or right now, I think nine time or 99 times out of 100 on current form, United wouldn't beat City. No, we wouldn't. Do you think the fact that we have got just under six weeks, things can change in that time, United can get players back, we can get back to freshness. Do you think that is absolutely crucial for our chances of winning? Oh, yeah, 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 because like I say players stunk the place out today. Yeah. Martial stunk the place out. Even Sancho when he come on. He, he gave nothing. Yeah. Do, you got a ball, a turn, go forward, not play it back. It, it's, it, it, you basically, it, it's not his squad, is it? Mm. We won a Carabao Cup with the signings we made in the summer. We made that happen. Mm. And it's just like this team, 
it's like now are you gonna bottle another fucking final? We haven't got Martinez. We haven't got Varane. It could be a chance Varane comes yeah. back. You're gonna bottle a semi final. You're gonna bottle a final like you did against v Villarreal. Uh, and you know, I'd be yeah. half assed. You have got to be on it from the first minute to the last minute, and all contingencies. He like I say, I think he'll, he'll be open to that as well. So will Pep. Mm. He could go to Pens again. You know what I mean? Uh, Manchester, well, London will be Manchester, and Manchester will. Be, the bars will be packed and everything. Like yeah. you say, splits down. It, it, this will split families. My yeah. family's going to be split down the middle. Yeah. My father-in-law is a blue, so same. He's, he's same. Same. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like my dad's a red. See, it's, I've got, it's gonna be big, this, isn't it? Yeah, I've got I've got family on me on me nephews uh, on on his granddad's side. All oh, City fans, yeah. so this is gonna be one of those like. Just on Lindelof scored the winner. I thought he was probably United's best player in the ninety minutes. It's nice to see him have a chance to sort of thrive yeah, and shine yeah, in it because yeah. he's had a lot of stick over the years and some of that's been parcelled in with his uh, relationship with Maguire. He's had a few bad games himself, but he was great today, and it's good to see him get a bit of credit in it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, he deserves it, yeah. and I'd like to say. Um, any players now between now and the end of the season, you've got to play for your FA Cup final place. Mm. You've got you've got targets to aim for. So uh, bigging yourself up and not delivering uh, on Thursday night. Some players did that. I'm not going to name. We all know who they are. But uh, yeah, it's like it's David De Gea can't. It had to be a miss, didn't it? He cannot save anything. No. You know what I mean? He cannot. It has to be a miss. I'll take it. But yeah. it's it's. This club, it's like that. We, we, if we get new owners soon in the next week, there's some answers on the horizon in the next two weeks, a week or so. I just want, the, I, I want the future to be crystal clear because mm. this could be a springboard. Like you say, going out, the going, the regime going out. Oh, and they won't give a toss if City won a treble. They'll be just happy to take their money and go. Yeah. But could you imagine the lift, the adrenaline rush, the injection, the needle? To, to galvanise you when you've won an FA Cup final. Mm, with new owners. With new owners coming yeah. in as well. Oh, new owners get announced just before the final. Can mm. you imagine the positivity around them? The players, the fans, the club, everywhere. But they'll drag it out again. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a fourth round of bids, mm. fifth round of bids. We need some answers, don't we? Yeah, you're going to get some answers next Sunday. It's going to get tasty. Mm. But I'm working the night before. I won't be sleeping mm. Sunday. Because like I say, we're, we're all gunning for the Glazers now. Yeah. We're all gunning. And you're going to sit... There's gonna it's, if you stay there will be anarchy next mm. Sunday. Yeah, make sure you check out those protests. Obviously, uh, I think started and eleven o'clock at yeah. the Nags Head on Dean's Gate. Eleven o'clock it starts at the Nags Head, and we go from there. And we say basically we'll go to war there you go. peacefully. Right. Thank you very much for joining us. Manchester United into the final, a target, a, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, something to look forward to for everyone in Manchester. Big big game coming up that in it, but. There's more to watch out for as well on the horizon. Yeah. Spurs on Thursday will be here for all of the coverage and build up to that. So you make sure you stay to Stretford Paddock. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in a bit.